Hello, 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 a big hello and a warm welcome to each and everybody right now. My name is Gaurav Tekriwal and I represent the Vedic Math Forum India and I would like to extend my welcome to each and every one of you. You are watching from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and also YouTube. So a warm welcome to each one of you and say hello and type in your city name if you are watching. And if you are watching this, just type in your city name and show some love, show some hello if you are watching this right now. Today we have a very, very special guest with us today. Uh, his name is Dr. Radha Krishnan Pillai and he is a big brother to me. Namaste Bhaiya. And I would like to take two minutes to introduce him and then folks will be going on with the questions. So Dr. Radha Krishnan Pillai, fondly known as Chanakya Pillai, he's a teacher to his students, an author to his readers, a management trainer, consultant, and guide to his clients. I mean, I must say that I've been fortunate enough to receive personal mentoring for him when he from him when he was in Kolkata. And that was a true, true, true privilege to me. Dr. Pillai has been confirmed with the and honored with the Sadar Patel National Award for this research on Chanakya and his principles. His first book, Corporate Chanakya, has created record for the highest number of pre-release sales for any first book of an author. Dr. Pillai is also the deputy director at the Chanakya International Institute of Leadership Studies under the University of Mumbai. A warm, warm welcome to you, sir. It's a pleasure to have you. So, uh, in fact, yeah, Maya. In fact, uh, Gaurav sir, it's an honor to be on your show because I am a student of Vedic mathematics under your guidance only. And Shovik, sir, and everybody has been guiding me. So, first of all, thanks to you and thanks to the Vedic uh, Maths India Forum for making me part of this particular platform. I want to thank you and all the audience for being part of this. That's so kind of you to say that, sir. I'm, I'm pretty flattered right now and it feels great to share a little bit of Vedic Maths with you and it's a pleasure to have you again here, sir. So, sir, tell me about the early days. Matlab, how did it all begin for you? Chanakya and how did it all begin? Uh, so, Gauravji, it so happens that Rumi, one of the very great philosophers, once said, sometimes you choose your path and sometimes the path chooses you. So, frankly, so I, frankly speaking, I never thought that you know I will be in this field of Chanakya and education specifically and writing books and being an author. But, you know, it is God's grace and, of course, Chanakya's Kripa, as we say. So coming back, how did it actually happen? I can tell you in 2020, uh, this is the year currently, we almost completed 20 years of my journey and 2021 is the 21st year of my journey. So in the wow. year 2000, uh, I remember that I was working in a big multinational company heading the sales uh, for that. It was into sports management. And unfortunately, the founder died. And, you know, I uh, almost thought, what next job can I take? So I was already doing a very big job in a multinational company in a sports management field. We used to work with the who's who like the Sachin Tendulkars and all that. But at that particular point of time, my guru guided me that you should look out for a job. No, you should think about becoming an entrepreneur. So it is the entrepreneur journey that happened almost 20, 21 years ago that made me to think like Chanakya. And in my interest, I said, you know, I have done my MBA. I'm doing a lot of management studies as far as the Western management is concerned. But unfortunately, I'm running an Indian business. I started a company called Atma Darshan into spiritual tourism. And I said, mm -hmm. okay, let me try to understand what is Indian management. And Chanakya was a person who was managing the whole kingdom. And in that particular journey, I suddenly realized there is so much management principles. I started reading the Artha Shastra. I went into the detail of it. I studied it. Later on, of course, I did my PhD in the subject. But just to begin that, you know, it was a journey that just started very casually. But today it has become a full time career and also my passion. So 21 years of trying to understand Chanakya is all God's grace. And thanks to friends like you who keep promoting me. 
So it's your pleasure because what you're doing, you're taking Indian wisdom and you're giving it to the world. And for and you have given so many applications of Chanakya, the Artha Shastra Sutras, that is simply amazing. And we're gonna talk all about that. Bhaya, that how did the first book corporate Chanakya happen? So that exactly is also one of the, you know, I would say fortune or God's grace that happened. You know, uh, this happened uh, that uh, I was once invited to a rotary function in the Taj Mahal Hotel, you know, which is a very branded hotel, the first five star hotel in India. And I was a speaker over there and I spoke on Chanakya. And after the event was uh, over, uh, uh, three people came to me and said, you speak very well on Chanakya. Would you like to write a book on Chanakya? I said, uh, yeah, I can write that sort of problem. But who are you? So they said, we are the publishers. We are Jayco. I said, wow, Jayco is like India's number one, uh, you know, among the India's number top three publishers. Said, Very good. I've read Jayco books. And again, coming back, it's fortune that, you know, instead of me looking out for a publisher, the publisher found me. And even before I wrote a book, I actually found one of the best publishers. I wrote my book. It took four and a half years, actually, you know, because that's a very deep research book. But finally, what we have last year, we completed 10 years of corporate Chanakya's release in 2010. And I'm very fortunate, wow. you know, that the book has been very much uh, accepted globally. It has been accepted in universities. It's very popular. It's also a bestseller. So it is again saying that, you know, probably it is Chanakya's wisdom and publishers like Jayco who made me India's whatever best selling author in the space of Chanakya. You are India's the best selling author the number one business author of india so that that's amazing and i get to learn so much from you all the time sir so Bhaya, let, let's throw a light for our followers from other countries a little bit of light light on like on chanakya like who was he and why are his teachings so relevant today so chanakya was born in the fourth century bc which is roughly 2300 years ago from today and he was a person who was known as a king maker so if you look at his particular background in history there was this particular nanda dynasty and this nanda dynasty had its capital in patliputra which is modern day patna and the kingdom was uh, magad kingdom which is we call as modern day bihar that part of india and it so happened that there was a particular teacher his name was Chanak and Chanak was an advisor to Dhananand, that king. Unfortunately, Dhananand was not a great leader. He was very corrupt and, you know, people were very unhappy. So this Dhananand was advised by Acharya Chanak or teacher Chanak saying that, you know, you should govern well, etc, etc. But the king never heard him. And instead of, you know, listening to a teacher, he actually killed him. So that was the story. But interestingly, Chanak uh, son. Acharya Chanak's son was Chanakya. That's how he gets the name Chanakya. He uh, carried yeah. forward what his father had not done yet to establish good leadership. So this particular person, Chanakya, then uh, went to Takshashila University, which is a very prominent university of those days, where he studied political science or Rajaniti. And he continued to actually teach there as a teacher, professor. But then uh, destiny called him back to Magad Kingdom and he had to dethrone Dhananan and make Chandragupta Maurya a kingmaker. So the Chandragupta Maurya becomes a king because he was a kingmaker. So from an ordinary boy, Chanakya cowed out one of the greatest emperors of India. Very important thing is that he also defeated Alexander when he was in his drive and mission to conquer the world. But he could not conquer India because of Chanakya's intelligence and strategies. Later on, when Chandragupta Maurya became a king, he did two important things. Number one, he documented the process of how to run a kingdom. And that book is called as Kautilya's Arthashastra and Chanakya Niti. The second important thing that he did was that he continued teaching like his father. So after his work was over to establish a leader, he continued teaching leadership or Rajaniti. And therefore, he's still known as Acharya Chanakya or teacher Chanakya. And I've been very fortunate that I've studied the Arthashastra and trying to bring out the nuggets of wisdom the Chanakya applied many centuries ago to our generation. So, so what are the sum of Chanakya's teaching in the Artha Shastra? What secrets does it contain? Is it applicable for everybody or only for certain kings 
and uh, kingmaker. So, what is Artha Shastra all about? So, as you look at this word Artha Shastra, it means two words which combine to become one word in Sanskrit. Artha means wealth and Shastra means scripture. So, it's actually a book, a scripture on management of wealth. So many scholars call it a book of economics, but then it has got a multi-dimensional approach. It's got economics, it's got leadership, it's got military science, it's got law in it, it's got foreign policy. So Arthashastra wow. has got 6,000 sutras or formulas of how to run a kingdom. It is divided into 150 chapters, 180 books and 180 sections. So it's a huge book. And you know, uh, as you rightly pointed out, what was the subject knowledge and how is it uh, relevant to us. See, you'd be surprised that even though Chanakya spoke about so many topics in one book, the Arpa Shastra, he talks about the human psychology as well. Because oh. it's a book on leadership. And as you see, the, the, the world of maths, it's very conceptual. We deal with numbers. If you, you've been a teacher of Vedic mathematics, you've written best-selling books, you've created so many teachers yourself. So Rajaniti or political science or Arpa Shastra is also very conceptual. But he made sure that these formulas, like how you have it in the Medic mathematics, is also made into a process. So the greatest ah. contribution of Chanakya is to make formulas of leadership or Rajaniti, political science, into nuggets of wisdom that not only the Rajas, but also the Praja can benefit. So for the kings and the common man. And we have to be very, very happy to know that this knowledge is still existing because many books get outdated and out of print, as they say. But in this mm. particular case, the book has survived 2,400 years. And even today, we can bring out the nuggets of wisdom which we can benefit from. So that's Kautilya's Artha Shastra for all of us. Uh, so what are some of Chanakya's wisdom for students, if we are to say? Uh, I also, before I go into that, I just want to say a quick hello to people who are watching us right now from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. A big, big hello from both of us to everybody. We have Pragya Pandey who just says hello, sir. Uh, we have Dhavit Satya, regards from Peru. He's from South America. We have Hia Mukherjee says hello. Manish Jain says hello. Uh, let's see, we have Anuj Purbe. They're all welcoming you, sir. So that's amazing. So let's continue the discussion. So what are some of Chanakya's wisdom for students, if I were to ask you? Yeah, Gaurav, sir, uh, thank you for, you know, once again, giving a hello to all our audience. A hello from my side also. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, from different parts of the world and our country, of course. So hello to each one of you. Coming to your question, uh, Gaurav sir, what are the Chanakya's uh, nuggets of wisdom for students? For that, I would suggest that you should read one of the books that I've written. It's called Chanakya in the Classroom. So this tells us how Chanakya's wisdom can be actually applied to modern day education system. Thank you, Gaurav sir, for showing the pictures. You see the tagline, it says, Life Lessons for Students. Thank you, Garoji. I'll tell you before I go into the nuggets, what happened today morning. Today morning, uh -huh. I got a call from a very well-known education institution in India called Symbiosis, which is in Pune. And you know, one of the students just called me up and said, I want to invite you for a TEDx talk because they have some um, you know, Symbiosis TEDx event happening. I said, very much happy to be part of it. But then that student who was an organizer told me something, sir, I want to share something with you. I said, please. I'm all ears to listen. Saying that when I was in my 11th standard, I got 65%. And somewhere I actually got hold of your book, which is Chanakya in the classroom. And I applied those principles. And you'd be surprised that I got 95% in 12th standard. Wow. Wow. So that was, that was something which like really was a great feedback. And I told him, Ravi, tell me which part of Chanakya's wisdom in the book actually was important for you. So I'm going to answer your question with those applications. So he wow. told me one very important part that is daily timetable of a student. Now there is a chapter in the book where if you want to be a good student and a successful student, you need to have something called as discipline. And for discipline, you need to have a timetable. Unfortunately, our timetable is set by the school or the college where we go to. 
But if I were to tell you what is the daily timetable, ninety-nine percent of the people don't even know what is the meaning of a timetable. They think getting up and going back to sleep is a time scheduling. No, if you are a student, apart from the school, you should have your own timetable. And then in my book, I have written that you know there are two types of timetable for a student. One is a regular timetable, and one is timetable during exam times. So when you are in an examination mode, suddenly you become very alert. And once the examination is over, you say, "Okay, fine. You know, now let us uh, study when the exams are coming." Unfortunately, in our education system currently, you know, it is not an education system. It's all about writing exams. So coming back in this book, I have given one nugget which Chanakya also says in the Artha Shastra: You should study every day, irrespective of whether you have an exam or not. But during exam, write and study for exams. But before exams, keep studying, 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 studying. So study and examination should not be linked. But good studies should lead to an examination or assessment. So I think one of the first principles is that don't wait for an exam time to start studying. Create a time for studying every day. That is 365 days. Imagine the Artha Shastra. After becoming a leader or a king, Chanakya says you have to study three hours every day. and people who are very busy they say you know i don't have time actually it is other way around if you want to be a good leader you need to find out time and especially for studying i am not telling you 3 hours every day you should study but at least when you are a full time student please study at least one and a half two hours every day and when the exam time comes of course you have to study 16 17 18 hours a day so the first step is that you should be self disciplined even without exams the second important thing and that is very important that don't be a mugger okay so people just mug and they just try to write for the exam time in fact it is said the more you sweat during peace times the less you bleed during war times so mm. you have to be very prepared and healthy physically mentally intellectually during the peace times so friends what is important is that you should play well you should have different hobbies you should keep your mind alert read a lot and you'll be surprised once you are having that intellectual ability conceptual knowledge exam becomes very easy the third point which i want to tell for students is that learn from all teachers all teachers unfortunately what happens is that we only try to put teachers into a specific box math teacher english teacher and you know good teacher and a bad teacher no if you are a student you learn from everyone and please understand don't compare teachers every teacher has got a plus and minus you know some teachers are good in communication some people uh, some teachers are good storytellers but remember the moment you have a teacher he or she has gone through a particular level of testing by the institution also so one of the biggest thing is your shraddha or the faith in the teacher believe me today unfortunately students also rate teachers but the reality is that a student should not rate teachers but they should learn from every teacher and if you have this particular attitude believe me you will become a good student there are many 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 tips right from you know how to keep a healthy body exercising how to think like chanakya there is a subject called as anvikshiki so lot of tips but just to tell you is that in a very simple word have a disciplined life study every day even without exams and most important learn from all type of teachers become a good student and become a good learner these are the few of the tips wow wow that's something amazing you have decoded chanakya for students in such an amazing way bhaiya that is amazing so i just want to continue on that thought so what is the saptang pillar of success and leadership program what are the key takeaways from your saptang pillar of success given by chanakya thank you so much garo ji you know i have been very fortunate when i did my phd uh, you know it is said that you know your particular phd should not be just for a, a doctoral degree my guide dr shubhada joshi told me you should look at application of chanakya's philosophy it uh-huh. should be applied i said okay so you know don't just look at chanakya as a great person from the past what are the kind of a principles and formulas and models that you can use in our generation so i said okay there are so many but i picked the one model which i am actually teaching now in universities and in open classrooms also and of course webinars 
it is called the saptanga leadership program as you rightly pointed out so what is saptanga it was originally written by chanakya and it's there in the artha shastra as well sapta anga sapta means seven anga means parts so seven parts of a kingdom is called as saptanga so what are the seven parts so when chanakya is training his students who are going to be future kings and leaders he says you have to run a kingdom but in a kingdom you have to take care of seven things if you take care of the seven things you are kingdom is well so what are they he says the kingdom consists of seven elements and these seven elements put together makes a healthy kingdom what are they it comes a sutra or a formula in book number 6 chapter 1 sutra number 1 of chanakya's artha shastra it reads like this in sanskrit swami amartya janapada दुर्ग कोश दंड मित्र प्रकृतिय विच मीन द किंग द मिनिस्टर स्वामी अमात्य जनपद द सिटीजन दुर्ग दैट इज द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द फोर्ट कोश द ट्रेजरी दंड द आर्मी एंड मित्र द एलाइ दीज पुट टूगेदर द प्रकृति इज मेक ए ग्रेट किंगडम सो जस्ट टू टेल यू दैट अ किंग अ मिनिस्टर happy citizens good fortified city and of course good finance and treasury good army and good allies or friends make a healthy kingdom now wow. today if you look at it how do we apply for a common man so let's say gaurav sir you are running a fantastic organization the vedic india foundation and all that courses that you are doing so whether you are running a particular organization and a forum i am running an organization you can apply it. for example let's say there is a school or a college so who is a swami or a swamini the principal amatyas are the other teachers janapada are the students durga is the infrastructure today it is physical and digital like you got a wonderful restream platform also with all the instagram and facebook live so today that's also digital infrastructure required in a good educational institution then we have kosha funds are required sponsorships are required so there is somebody who is paying for it even if it is free as they say danda is a support system so i'm sure gaurav sir you know there is a back end support system that is working to make this happen so in a school or a college there is an administrative staff there is a security guard you know there are all the people who keep the machinery running so that's danda or your army and mitra they are allies like you know you are my ally and you are ally so together we are doing this particular program and i am being a student of vedi matrix i know that today we have achieved together many many things you have been a successful author i have been a successful author so one thing which i have realized from the saptanga model it is not about fighting it is not about competition it is about collaboration collaboration the saptanga model teaches you that if you want to be a leader in any field don't compete but collaborate so this is what we do by teaching saptanga model to everyone in different formats in fact i have written a book also based on this called the chanakya seven secrets of leadership so you can have a look at it you can check you know a lot of videos are there on the saptanga model yeah so that's the one the one uh, below uh, second row on the left side uh, the chanakya seven secrets of leadership thank you so much gaurav sir for showing the pictures so that's the saptanga model of leadership for you Let's let's talk about that. That was amazing. That was fantastic. The way Chanakya has put it, and the way you have interpreted it so beautifully, Bea, and put it, and the applications of it means that it has so many applications for everybody. Having said that, let's talk about a little bit about the younger students. Let's talk a little about my favorite book out of all after Kapil Chanakya was Chatur Chanakya. Chatur Chanakya, you have authored Chatur Chanakya and the Himalayan Problem. how did that come about that was like amazing idea this is super uh, you know we have a common publisher as you know the penguin random book house and as you also Correct. know that penguin is the children's division of the same publisher i will tell you what happened i was once uh, in delhi and i was in the office because the head office is in a uh, gurgaon not exactly delhi but you know so i had just walked into the office and i was meeting my uh, editor mili aishwarya So as I met uh, uh, one person just came and said, "Oh, Radha, sir, how are you?" I said, "Yes, hi, so I'm Anu. So I am a part of a team which looks into children's book. So if you have five minutes, can you spare with us?" I said, "Yeah, I'm all at your service. I've come to my publisher's office so anytime." 
so he just came and he said uh, you know sir i got a fantastic idea in my mind the what is it so that you know why don't you write a children's book so remember the first book corporate chanakya yes so the publisher yes. told me and as an author remember this never ever tell no to any idea of a publisher you never know what they can churn out of you a lot of people fight with publishers and you don't sell my books you don't do this you don't do that but the reality is that we a publisher gives an idea that can turn out to be a gold mine so when mm-hmm. anup and you know hema and all those people they said you know let's brainstorm i said yeah so why don't you look at anvikshiki kind of a knowledge for children i said okay not bad and then they helped me out to create a character called as chatur chanakya so we realized he is a very young boy who has studied chanakya and you look at the friends you know he's goes to a school called as vani vidyalaya where i studied my children study so we created a background and there are six friends together and there is a bully called himale so the little chatur chanakya helps his friend called as arjun along with lakshmi and everybody to use strategies of chanakya as a student to solve children's problem so i realized one thing the book has become so popular we are having the second uh, version of chatur chanakya part 2 with a different story coming up so it's going to be a wow. series and what is interesting is wow. that we are also turning it out into a movie oh yes wow that's super yes, yes. and and you also have a game right for of uh, around the character yes in fact that game is called as chanakya's chakra view chakra view so yes chakra yes view, everybody knows that abhimanyu got into the chakra view but he could not get out so life is like that you know we get into the vicious cycle we don't know how to break that cycle and chanakya has got a strategy for that it's a game on wealth management and wealth creation so chanakya mm. has got lot of ideas about money finance wealth etc in his book artha shastra so again you know some of my friends came to me and ideated and saying that why don't you create a game i said okay i can give you the formulas like how gaurav sir <laughs> used to talk of you know vedic mathematic formulas so i said okay i can give you wealth creation formulas and then we created a game by playing the game two things happen it's a board game and now we are also making it online so very soon you will see the digital version of the game we are creating so, that but what is important is that we realize one thing we played it the game is already available you can check on the internet chanakya's chakra view and we played as a board game two things happen the first thing is that you learn chanakya's principle but the second thing is that you come to know why people actually are in the vicious cycle of wealth they keep working for money and then they realize one thing that you know they have lost the best times of their life money is very important but strategy to create money is more important so people generally don't know what is the difference of wealth creation and strategy for wealth creation so when you enter into something chanakya says plan your exit so before you enter plan your exit otherwise like abhimanyu you will get killed by the enemies so this game when you play you actually start realizing that you have to get out of the vicious cycle of working for money but rather make money work for you so all the modern day concepts we have actually derived this wow. game from an ancient concept and that's what you want to tell you these concepts were used and time tested not only by chanakya but for thousands of years because of which india was the golden sparrow sone ki chidi and the whole world came to us you are sitting in wow. kolkata yeah. which was actually made the capital by the britishers but britishers did not just come just like that they had an idea and they also had a strategy so friends and gaurav sir you know chanakya's chakra view is an amazing game that my friends have created i want to thank my friends the enlightened games team which is trying to educate children we also have a children's version called as chota chatur chanakya chanakya's wow. chatur chakra view so there's a mini version play with your friends play with your family and you will be surprised you will learn chanakya and also become financially rich it's a game to teach you the strategy wow wow uh, my mind is overflowing with a lot of ideas maybe you can have a book where chatur chanakya learns vedic math from arya bhatta so we wow. can... <laughs> so let me ask you this question this is a hypothetical question say if chanakya met arya bhatta what do you think they would discuss <laughs> they will discuss two things one is called sankhya and the second they will talk about artha okay because aryabhatta as you know you know him better than me but chanakya <laughs> also was a number person 
So there is a formula in Artha Shastra which he calls about as Anvikshiki, how to think strategically. And that formula is called Anvikshiki and it says Sankhya Yoga Lokayata, Sankhya Yoga Lokayata put together is Anvikshiki. So what is Sankhya? Sankhya is numbers. Vedic mathematics is all about numbers. So Aryabhatta and Chanakya will definitely look at Sankhya and Sankhya. They will discuss how to make it better. Then Yoga. Yoga is a calm and quiet mind. Friends, you know this since I'm a Vedic Mathematics student also that when you have to sit to solve mathematical problems, you cannot have a disturbed mind. Okay, so you need to have concentration, focus and calm and quiet. That is achieved by Yoga. And the third important thing is, you know, Lokayata. You should to be worldly smart. So I'm sure Aryabhatta never just created formulas, but he created application based formulas. So both Chanakya and Aryabhatta would have definitely discussed how the society will benefit from these formulas. So please understand all the great teachers of the past, be it Panini, be it, you know, Aryabhatta, Chanakya or any of the rishis, they all were very practical and they work for the society. So they never looked at, you know, how much I can get. So I'm sure both of them will discuss, discuss their field of interest and say, what can we do better to make a common man benefit from this wisdom that we have. So I think great teachers work for the society and simplifies their knowledge for the common man and even for a child. Super, man. My last question to you, Bhaiya. What is the next thing for Chanakya? Your message for our young students. Last I question for you. Yes, Bhaiya. Yes, so I think the last message is simple. What Chanakya says. Never fight a battle alone. Take some friends along. You know, in life, we always see challenges and a lot of people are getting into depression. They have a lot of other challenges and issues. But let me tell you, if you have friends with you, you know, there is no depression. You don't even require a psychologist or a psychotherapist. The reality is that we just always require a conversation. Believe me, friends, life will always give you different challenges. Till the last day, you'll be facing some challenge or the other. But you have friends with you. Mitra, as Chanakya puts it in the Saptanga. Every challenge will look small. So develop a lot of friends. Be friendly with everybody. Choose your friends carefully. Yeah, this is very important formula. And my advice is that have lots of friends. Be friendly with everybody, but choose your friends carefully. Because friends can make you or break you. So be surrounded by people who are better than you. And don't be selfish in friendship. Okay. So friendship is not about what I got. Friendship is about what I gave. Mm -hmm. And as they say, a friend in need is a friend in need. So friends, remember, it is always some commitment that you give to the other person for life. It is not a very transactional relationship. What I got and what I can keep getting again and again and again. It's not about getting. It's about giving. So if you want to win the battle of life, if you want to win the battle of life, according to Chanakya's art of war, he says, take a lot of friends along with you. So keep friends and most important, be a good friend when you have to show your commitment to your friend and friendship. Thank you. Uh, I started the discussion on Chanakya and what a lovely message Bhaiya you put to us regarding friendship. So that's something which is amazing. We have Nilambar Malu who's saying that we both are blessed in our society and Bhaiya uh, Kushagra Sahani says big fan of you sir. So that's something which we just came in. So people, we are wrapping up today now. Thank you so much Bhaiya for coming to our show. It's a privilege and honor to have had you. I would like our visitors and our watchers to go to Chanakya's Ank Vikshiki website where you can read more about the book which Dr. Pillai has written, you can go to www.chanakya-ankvikshiki.com. Make a note of that so that there's no spelling error. I repeat it one more time. Please visit chanakya-ankvikshiki.com and read more about his strategies. And I would also like to promote and talk about some of Bhaiya's books, which are bestsellers. And I urge each and every one of you to go through them. So thank you so much, Bhaiya. Before you leave, we just want to share with you some of the moments 
where we this is a picture where we first met if you remember so that is yes, school was yeah and this is where we met in kolkata where we yes. had a talk with you you are nice yes you organized yes we were in such a short notice i was supposed to go to the airport but you made sure that you know i do this program and then go to the airport you actually cancelled my ticket and got a new ticket in such a short notice <laughs> So Thank it was you, your, it was your blessing that this happened, and we are so truly privileged to have heard you that day. Without which the moment would have gone unnoticed. So, you putting so much energy in that that was so much lovely, Bhaiya. So you. thank you, everybody. Thank you, Bhaiya. I'm going to wrap right now. Namaste to each and every one of you. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so very much. This is Gaurav Tikriwal signing off. making maths fun thank you so much namaste thank you